free roam right there. I do appreciate everyone being here. Welcome to my stream and uh, all everyone who's been here. Thank you for staying and uh, staying here with me. Uh, yeah, I, again, uh, I do apologize for that phone call. It was an important phone call that I had to take. It was for my son's school. I just knew because I recognized the number. And he was daily call me unless there's a reason. Alright, let's see this now. There we go. I don't really know what that is actually doing in here. I honestly don't know the reason for that. Oh shit. Oh, Karen, you're starting your crap already. What's going on, man? Oh, dude, I appreciate the bits, man. Thank you. Yeah, I've been crazy uh, busy myself, man, to be honest with you. Had to trim down on the streaming a little bit. I don't stream on weekends no more, and I'm only streaming once a day now instead of uh, twice. Happens with life, am I right? Question mark. Uh, don't quotate that, Karen. I get busy. Besides, like gaming and, and whatnot, those other things. Like last night, I had a uh, last night I had to prevent Matthew and uh, Richard from almost trying to kill each other. A little surprise though, usually they don't do that, but it happens. It's brothers, I guess. don't like when they do that stuff because then it gets in uh, and uh, Richard had such a freaking huge like you want to call it ego or uh, like the uh, I don't care attitude and, and he's really 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 bad with that and I mean I can say it a million times more and it would still not be any more close to how bad he is with it He's like super bad with, with all that crap. His I don't care and this and that and the other. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how horrible he is with it. Okay, well that was... I guess that's one option. Don't know what I'm supposed to be actually doing here. Probably supposed to be stopping this. Um, it's not really about. I can't remember. Um, it, it with them, it, it's always, it's always over a video game. You know, it's very stupid. Like, uh, that's what it was. Uh, look, Richard got off the Xbox because he got angry about. 
losing to a friend in a race on Grand Theft Auto V because his controller batteries died on him. So his friend, he was winning at first, Richard was. And what happened was his batteries died. Then his friend passed him out and won the race, and Richard got really, really pissed. And he's like, oh, screw this. He goes, I'm done with the game. He goes, that's bullshit. And he just got off, and he was even being ignorant to his friend over a game. So he got off. Anyway, he was okay. That was fine. That's whatever. Then Matthew got on the Xbox after Richard got off. And that same friend, that same friend is also, also Matthew's friend in school and also on the Xbox. They, they also play games together, too. So Matthew got on, and uh, and Matthew was talking to him, and he was asking Matthew to ask uh, Richard questions like, "Oh, why did he get off? Why is he being so salty? Why is he being this and that and the other?" And then it all started with uh, they got into a whole party where it was Matthew and a couple other friends that they all know each other. Even Richard knows them. And then Matthew was uh, relaying messages to like what they were saying. They're like, "Oh, they, uh, this one wants to know this. This one wants to know that." And then it all went to Matthew relaying messages that I know friends play around and call each other names and whatnot and all that bullshit. And I get that. I understand that because me and Ronnie do it. I I, I bust Ronnie's balls all the time. But. It was like, oh, well, they're saying this, and they're saying that, and then Richard's coming back, but I'm like, Matthew, and they're saying all this stuff, and I'm like, you're, you're helping them, like, be ignorant towards your own brother. I mean, you don't do that to family. And then Richard started with, you know, his whatever. He goes, oh, don't tell them to start here because if I start on them, I'm going to make them cry. And meaning because of how bad he can get and how with the things he says because he just really – he Richard gets the I don't care attitude and the stubborn ego attitude thing from his mother. Yeah, the friends whole start the whole situation because Matthew was relaying the message. And I told Matt, you don't do that. And then he, and then Richard got all, uh, you know, mad about it. And then he started mouthing off to me about everything. I'm like, well, that's family. You don't do it. He goes, well, we do it in school. I'm like, that's fine. But when I'm here and I don't want, and then school, I can't control what happens. I, and if you guys do it over phone, he goes, we do it all the time when we play games. I go, that's okay. That's because you're in a party. I don't hear it. But I don't want them relaying Matthew into it because they see something bad enough to where it really pisses uh, Richard off. Matthew's going to get it for them. And I don't think that's – and I, that's why I try to cut it off. And then Richard Richard started with his mouth to me. Oh, you know, blah, 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 you know, this, that, and the other. And I'm like just uh, – I looked at him with a dead stare, and I said, dude, seriously? I was like – just stop now. He goes, oh, what are you going to do, ground me? He goes, you know I don't care if you ground me. I just really don't care. In which, in the fact, actually, he does. Because there was a couple times he got grounded. And what? And when he finally was allowed to go on the Xbox, you know, he acts like a little like a little uh, five-year-old in a candy store, you know, when, he, when he's ungrounded. Or if he got his phone back, he acts like a little five-year-old in a candy store. So he does, but he just puts on that persona of it. And it was just horrible last night. And oh my gosh, man, people, I, kids, I swear. All right, what the hell do I gotta do now? I have no idea. I can't go in there. I can't do that with that. Alright, gotta be something with this. So that got turned on, that got turned on. That was turned on, that, this. Yeah. It's just. You know, it's just like, I don't know. Yeah, he... 
Richard is he is just so bad with his attitude and his I don't care thing and his uh um his ego he he is just so bad. He takes after Shayna with it. And like his like and especially I'm right, oh and you're not right attitude, you know how Shayna was with that. Like, you know, yeah, he is that bad. And a lot of the kids take a lot of the things from her, but I'm, I'm trying to, like, get it out of them. Because they're not going to go far or do anything in life if they have her kind of attitude. I'm sorry, they're not going to. They won't. And he and Richards and everything with school and everything else, he's like, oh, I'm just going to drop out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I'm like, dude. I know you got held back when you were in first grade many years ago, which you shouldn't have, but they did. And then, like, uh... What the hell was that? Okay. Don't know what the point of that was, but okay. And it's just like... I don't know, it's just... The kid just gets to me. And then he's like, oh, I'm just gonna, uh, work, you know, I'm just gonna do, like, be, like, you know, a regular job, and this and that and the other. And I'm thinking, yeah, you want a regular job. You wanna make, what, 30000 a year if you're lucky working a regular job? If you're lucky, you'll make 30000 a year. I mean, that's... You, to, you want a career. You want to set something up for yourself when you're older. I, t I tell them, don't be like me. I want you guys to be better than I am. And they, it's like with him, it's like all because it's schooling. And I tell them all the time. I tell them, uh, you know, I wish I can go back in time and do my schooling different. Yeah, I was good in school. Yeah, a lot of jobs you do. But he's talking about just working, like, in restaurants or whatever, or, like, a warehouse his whole life. Making, like, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 dollars an hour. But, yeah, that that's, that's okay money. It is. But you want to live life comfortably. Making that kind of money, and no offense to Ron, I say this to him all the time. And, yeah, Ron makes close to fifteen dollars an hour right now and he still stresses out he still stresses about life if you make a career for yourself where well, you're making like I don't know like maybe four five six seven thousand dollars a month just a guess you can live comfortably if you live smart and you don't overspend and all that bullshit and you can have a lot of money in your bank, and that's and you'll be fine. No stress. You're good. Your bills will be paid on time. Nothing at all. No worries. You'll have everything. But it's like with them, it's like one ear and out the other. And I'm telling them from my experience, my experience, like. If I, honestly, I, I, I don't regret my kids, you know, I do everything I can for them, but if it wasn't for me raising, me having me the one to, even though I was living with Shana and whatever, ugh. but if it wasn't for me having to be the one to really, really raise them, my education would have been a lot better. I would have went to, I would have did something. I would have got it, went into a uh, more advanced career school. I would have did something else to have something instead of what I'm doing now. I mean, granted, no matter what, how my life is, my medical problems would still be there no matter what I do. And I understand that. I get that. But I at least would have tried. And I would have had, like, their certificates or whatever to back everything up. Because I would have done that. But... I had to put myself to the side and my whatever I want to do to decide to take care of them. 
because I know damn well Shayna wasn't going to do it. So that's what I did. I put my life on hold, and and now that I'm at the age I am now with all my medical problems, I can't really do any of that stuff now. And I'm trying to get them to understand that so they can say, hey, you know, and be better. But it's just, it's hard. They're so damn stubborn, and they just, like, their attitude of, I don't care, and, oh, working a regular job is good enough. It's like, no, it, working is good, fine, but you don't want a job, you want a career, and I try to burn that in their head, but they don't, they don't concept it, because of their age, and they're so young, and I'm like, they always know me as I'm always honest to everybody, I'm honest, I'll tell you straight how it is, I don't beat around the bush, this is how it is, this is how I am, and I, I am to the, I, that's how I am with them too, and I'm telling them these things from my experience. I'm like, take my bad experience as your lesson. Do better. And they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. Yay! What's going on, Nerf? How are you doing? Long time no talk, my friend. You finally got there through Serenity's head about that? Yeah, exactly. At least she... Now she's probably going to do better for herself when she gets older. She'll probably go to college or get into a trade or a career school. You know, she'll do something. Give me some life advices. Oh, man. Oh, I'd be more than happy to give you some life advice, man. <laughs> I mean, I would have to know your situation a little more, but yeah, I definitely, man. I was just talking about my kids, to be honest with you. Like, they're, uh, my one son's gonna be 18 soon, you know? And, oh, I appreciate the host, man. Thank you. Thank you for hosting me. And it's just like, I'm trying to get it in his head that he wants to have a career. Not a, just not just a, number, a regular job, you know? I'm, like, trying to drill that in his head, but... He just doesn't want to hear. He takes after his mother in some ways, and it's just... Oh, man, it's just something else. I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm trying to figure out this part of the game. I don't know. Oh, you're a senior. That's, that's awesome. So, when she go to tech, she's going to take nursing, and that will go far. That's good. That is awesome. Yep, go to nursing, get the high school education of it, and then take to the next level of that and keep on going. I mean, she pursues it enough, and she's really, really smart. She can actually become a doctor. So, I mean, hey, go with it. Run, Take the ball and run with it. That's the way I see it. So, Nerf, uh, you're a senior. Uh, do you have any career plans? Do you have, like, um, anything you want to do? Your, or a college you want to go to? Like, what's your, uh, what's your thing you're trying to do right now? Give me that. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I figured it out. I had to take off the drone's head. Oh my gosh, man. Oh man. Oh. Too stupid for college, I think, making some own company. Well, I wouldn't say you're too stupid, man. I mean, some people don't have an interest in more education, so they try to go another route. Um, like, what about, like, uh, career schools or something? You know, like a hands-on kind of thing. Some people are uh, usually good at that, you know? Some people just don't 
you know? Man, I hate that I dropped out in 11th grade, but my dad needed help after being in the hospital. Oh, Karen, I forgot about that. I thought you finished school, to be honest with you. You know you can go and, uh... Oh, hey, Serenity, we were just talking about you. Coffee. You can always go back and get your GD or something. I mean, I know how old you are. I know you're like, what, 50 now? But, I mean, you can still do it. Ah, uh, okay. You knew I was going to ask that. I always ask that. That's my thing. <laughs> oh man. Locking. Karen, why do you get to say the things you want to do to me, huh? You know, other people don't want to know that. So, Nerf, uh, you said, uh, so do you have a thought about, like, a career school or something? You just woke up a couple minutes ago. Ah, uh, okay. I can't sleep in like that. Too old, I guess. I don't know. My body likes waking up early. Oh, I got hit. Here's annoying as hell. Ugh. Try and get this done here. Oh man. <laughs> Why do you hate me, Karen? Don't be hating. It's not nice to hate. Oh, man. Ow, she just kicked me in the face. Throwing shit at me. That's what you get. <laughs> she likes throwing stuff at me. Why is what is women women throwing things? You better run. <laughs> uh, go back to saying nice things. 
like that one time, one day. <laughs> Karen, if I didn't pick on you sometimes, I wouldn't be me. That's why it never works. Son of a bitch. You know, I could have had all these all done if I'd known that's what I had to do. If I were playing the game, I would have be screaming at the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Alright, woman. I don't remember what I said nice the other time, Karen, to be honest with you. Oh, I did like the other time. I just forgot what I did. It's not going to work. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh! Yeah, about, uh... Not, you know going around from guy to guy and whatnot. Yep. Yeah, I remember that now. I'm putting the books back on the shelf before I progress. That way, because it... There's so many things you can do in these kind of games to unlock, see? That's why I did it. I would have got more of those things, too, if I would have remembered that one. Coffee. Ugh. Nothing there either. One thing I like about this game is smash things. See, I could be nice. Well, I'm not gonna say too much about that. What I just talked about because, well, I know Serenity's watching and listening, so we're not gonna go there. Not gonna go there. Gonna be nice. There we go. I'm gonna get a billion in here. Almost halfway. Alright, I think that's about it. Can't do nothing else. I have to come back in here. Uh, I'm sick of chasing this woman. Oh! Uh, Alright, I see how it is now. Try and throw stuff at me, huh? Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't get a text yelled at for not going to school. <laughs> well, I didn't know. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> 